Kiffin started his new job with a salary of that. Each year he receives a 3.15 increase in his salary and writing use a continuous continuous exponential growth function to find his salary over 20 years, after 20 years. Okay, so this is nice because um, we don't have to solve for time. Um, they didn't ask when his salary equaled a certain amount, so we're going to start off with 26,550. Um, he receives one plus that, so we'll just put 0 0.0315 percent each. Uh, nope, my bad. It's continuous, isn't it? Okay, sorry. Okay, so we start off with 26.550, then e to the 0 0.0315 times 20. Okay. <clears throat> I missed the word continuous there. And then what we'll do is we will make sure that this makes sense. So is he making around almost 50,000? That seems reasonable. Reasonable considering this rate, okay? Um, after 20 years to be making that, uh, man, it seems like fella should be making a little bit more than that, Kevin, after 20 years, no matter what. 2018 Chevy Tahoe was purchased for $62,625, okay, it's a lot of money for a truck. After five years, the vehicle value has a value of $35,000, uh, yep, that sounds about right. So, um, right, and use a continuous exponential decay function to find the rate of depreciation, okay. So now, to find a rate, we actually have to find this value right here, okay? So we are going to say that it equals 35,000 later after it equaled this. So what did this take to get here? We know E, we do not know the rate, but we do know that it was five years later, okay? So that's R times five. Okay, now this is kind of nice. Oh, I did not show you guys the law of 72. I really should show you that. It's super cool. All right, uh, let me write that down. Okay, law 72, 70, and then 69. Okay, so anyways. Uh, so uh, 35,000 divided by 62, 625 equals that. Okay. So why not? We'll just put it down here. 55, 8, 8, 8 equals E to the R. We'll just put actually 5R. There we go. Okay. Now what this is saying is that, that this guy, after he depreciated by that much, right? He lost like 56%. Okay. So how did he lost over, uh, no, is that, no, that's, that's not what it's saying. It's saying he lost like 40, 40, 44%. He lost 44%. Okay, it's one minus that. So anyways, uh, we are ready to take the LN of both sides so that we can um, so that we can solve for R. So in our calculator, we're just going to go ahead and figure out what the ln of 0 0.55888, and then we're going to take that and divide by 5, and the rate is negative, um, we could say negative 12%. So the rate is 12%. Okay, does that seem reasonable? It loses 12% each year, and uh, yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Okay, for cars, actually, it's usually more than that. All right, so, um, contagious, okay, using this function, how many days will take for 150 people? Okay, now, this, it feels like it's impossible to solve, because look at how com complicated this is, right? But in one move, this 
problem actually becomes pretty simple. We simply swap these two out so that 1 plus 4 e to the negative 0 0.07t equals 350 divided by 150. 350 divided by 150 is 2 and a third. So we'll just go 2.3 repeating. And then what we'll do is we'll basically just go ahead and execute the next couple algebra steps here. First, we're going to subtract 1, and then we will divide by 4. Okay, so we can do that. So 2.33, subtract 1, oh, hit enter, subtract 1, enter, divide by 4, enter. Okay, so E equals negative 0.07T equals that number. So it equals a third. So we'll just put 0.3 repeating. Okay, so now we got to take the ln of both sides. Okay, and since that's just one third, we'll just write that. Okay, so now we'll take the ln of one third divided by negative 0 0.07. And is that exact? Yes, that's good. So 15.7. So 15.7 days it will take for 150 people. Okay, 15.7. Yeah, that seems reasonable. All right, next. Sharon invests. Uh, 2300 into an account that earns 4.25% compounded weekly. Assuming there are no other deposits withdrawal, find the balance in her account after 18 years. Oh, that's, a, that's one of the easy ones. Okay, cool. All right, we start off with $2,300. Um, it earns uh, 0.0425 interest divided by weekly. So we're going to go 52 times every single year and you're doing it for 18 years. So that's 20 times it's going to compound. And so you basically split that percentage F over every week. Okay, so they compound it every week. Um, it is my understanding in the financial world that everybody pretty much does uh, compounding continuously. Okay, but we can actually just type it exactly as we see it. Uh, let's go fraction right there. We can even type it in like that. Okay, this allows us to not even worry about the order of operations because we are just simply typing exactly as we see it. Okay, and we will have $4,941.14. Okay, and is that... That's fair enough. Yeah, 18 years for sure. Okay, for sure. That's reasonable. Okay, so these guys I'm going to save for tomorrow. Um, okay, now these, you know what? I'm actually just going to post the answers to these guys. And uh, you you can look over uh, the um, look over the answer key for these. Okay, this is just something that, um, uh, you know, it's a calculator thing nothing else so uh, remember you can you can also use your um, your foldable with these as well okay